Hi folks, this is Steve for Skywatch Media with a special news report for February 23rd, 2019. A tremendous meteor fireball explosion took place above the island of Mayotte, which immediately sparked panic among its residents. According to a statement released by the Mayotte Prefecture, an explosion took place at 9.30 p.m. local time on February the 18th, when a meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere. All aerial and maritime information provided by the specialized services suggests that the observed phenomenon took place at sea, off the coast of Mayor, near the big island of Madagascar. According to an eyewitness, there appeared a ball of fire traveling at a very fast speed in the direction of the sea. A dash cam video also showed a large fireball streaking towards the ground illuminated by a blinding flash of light. The Mayotte incident comes on the heels of a similar event that took place in western Cuba, where a meteor explosion caused numerous rock fragments to rain down upon residents. This also comes after a large fireball was filmed blazing across the skies of Venezuela on February the 9th, to the amazement of many onlookers. On February the 12th, a large fireball streaked across the sky over central Florida, producing a rumbling noise before disintegrating over the Atlantic Ocean with the explosive energy of 100 tons of TNT. The fireball, also recorded by a wide-angle camera at Florida Tech, was seen around 2 a.m. and was witnessed by residents from Titusville to Palm Bay. The meteor, as captured in this image, was burning with a greenish-blue glow and was seen as far away as Jacksonville. On February 15th, what is described as an unusual fireball was observed traveling northwest across five countries in Europe and was photographed by three sky cameras. The large fireball was a result of a meteorite hitting the Earth's atmosphere at 160,000 miles per hour, causing it to explode upon impact. The American Meteor Society notes that there has been a dramatic increase in fireball and meteor activity since the beginning of 2016. The rate increased exponentially since the year 2012. Such dramatic changes is significant and should be generating a lot of media attention and considerable activity in space observation. But why all the silence on what's obviously happening in our skies? It may be that the reason for the lack of media attention on this subject revolves around the inability to release information to the public that would directly impact economic conditions, or the ability to cohesively control social order among the nations. When the big fireball streaked across the sky in Venezuela earlier this month, there were multiple reports across social media sites that the fireball fell to the earth 
an event that was incredibly energized, so powerful that it caused superheated rock fragments to impact the ground, setting the grass on fire. The video of the fires seems to indicate in the aftermath of this sky event that a significant impact occurred. But how accurate or even believable is the information that is being presented? Most meteors after entering the Earth's atmosphere will generally disintegrate in midair, leaving behind a trail of smoke such as seen in this incredible imagery of a meteor exploding in the night sky. In most instances, meteorite rock fragments are extremely rare. Most do not hit the ground, let alone cause a crater or a fire such as the one witnessed in Venezuela. So what is the truth and what should be believed? Since the year 2006, the most active months for meteor events and observations have occurred in the winter and the fall. But near-Earth objects are coming our way from all directions, and even the most sophisticated monitoring technology is incapable of detecting each and every object that has a trajectory that takes it closer to the Earth. On February the 19th, an asteroid 280 feet in diameter skimmed past the Earth at an amazing speed of over 30,000 miles per hour. You might not have heard about its passing because it received little, if any, mainstream media attention, mainly because the asteroid flew past the Earth at a distance of 3 million miles, or 13 lunar distances. This may not seem like an urgent story for the media, but NASA considers any asteroid that comes within 4.6 million miles of the Earth to be classified as hazardous, such as the asteroids listed here in this widget that are expected to make close approaches to the Earth this month. The asteroid called MD-8, nicknamed Big Ben, which flew past Earth on February the 19th, falls under the category of a near-Earth object which NASA describes as all asteroids and comets that orbit within 30 million miles of Earth. MD-8 also falls under the category of a potentially hazardous object, which are those that reach a minimum distance less than 0.05 astronomical units from the Earth. Asteroids with a trajectory similar to MD-8 may never collide with the Earth in our lifetime but this does not lessen the likelihood that there are potentially dangerous asteroids and comets that could come close enough to the Earth to implement around-the-clock monitoring by space agencies. And the increase in space rocks entering the Earth's atmosphere is a worrisome sign that must be taken seriously. Earlier this month, scientists spotted a giant crater beneath Greenland's ice that may be the result of a massive meteorite smashing into the Earth. The crater, which is just over 22 miles wide, would be one of the largest meteorite impact sites on Earth if it is proved to be the result of a space rock. The crater is buried under more than a mile of ice. In November of 2018, scientists announced the discovery of a gigantic crater beneath Greenland's Hiawatha Glacier. Experts say that the crater was formed by a meteorite less than three million years ago, which impacted the Earth and transformed the topography of the Northern Hemisphere. The newly discovered crater is said to be 31 kilometers wide, which is equivalent to 19 miles in diameter. It is compared to the cities of Washington, D.C. and Paris, France. Using NASA satellite data, the second potential crater was identified 114 miles from Hiawatha Glacier, as depicted in this screen video presentation released on February the 11th. In this time of uncertainty, there is a considerable amount of information being distributed to the public 
that distracts us from the truth. At the same time, there is a lot of substantive information that is concealed that will affect our day-to-day -day existence. As you look to the sky, do so with the knowledge that this world has and will continue to experience encounters with the cruel forces of the cosmos and the endlessness of space. As you look out among the vastness of time, you begin to see the slow transformation of the earth. As you stand alone in the wilderness, you hear the sound of the approaching thunder, and you seek safe refuge from the storm and the harrowing moments that lie in wait. And yet, as you gaze out at the dark clouds in the distance, you somehow feel that everything will be okay. You realize that at the end of the storm, there is a silver lining that will comfort you and guide you out of the wilderness and into the light. Thanks for watching.